Hi everyone, and welcome to the channel. In this video, we'll be trying to go from seed to harvest with bean plants. I'm going to grow these plants with the cracky hydroponic method and do it all in a small glass jar. Here's the seeds I'll be using, which claim to produce small compact plants. We might be pushing that to the limit with our small reservoir. I'm using Grodan Rockwool as my growing medium. Using my shears to open up the cubes, we're going to submerge each of these cubes in tap water and then place our seeds inside. We'll move the cubes into a sealed container and place everything in the dark. Almost two weeks later, our seeds have turned into small seedlings, just beginning to open up. I'm going to move these young plants into net cups and jars where they'll have constant access to water and nutrients. We'll want to move everything into a place with good lighting to encourage these plants to open up and spread their leaves. This process would occur over the next couple of days. Both plants would straighten themselves and begin to put out their first set of leaves. We join these plants again on day number 25. Both plants have multiple nodes of growth and are adding size to their leaves. I'm moving the plants into opaque jars to keep sunlight out of our reservoirs and prevent algae from growing. These plants are headed back into the light and will be waiting for further growth. The reservoirs are holding water for five to seven days on average before they require top-ups. Beyond that, these plants are maintenance-free. Throughout week six, small buds appeared on the plant, which quickly grew and bloomed. Each of these flowers is able to self-pollinate and turn into a bean. I seem to be getting a lot of beans and very few of my flowers are just wilting away. Checking in during week seven, I'm pretty impressed with these plants. We've got a lot of foliage which looks quite healthy and a bunch of tiny beans beginning to mature. The foliage seems to sit on top of itself and these plants aren't doing the best job of spreading out but so far that doesn't seem to be causing them any issues. Taking a peek at our roots, you'll see that they are already about as deep as the reservoir is. They would likely spread further and the plants might do better in a bigger reservoir. To try and tackle the spacing issues, I was using some pipe cleaners to pull on various branches and encourage the plant to widen. The plants seem to be doing well in this indoor and hydroponic environment showing no real signs of stress as they continue to bulk up the beans they are carrying. By week 9, our beans were getting larger and adding a lot of weight to the small branches of each plant. My training efforts didn't seem to be spreading the plants much, but the pipe cleaners were also acting as supports to keep the plants upright as they put on weight. Here we are at the beginning of week 10. We have slight yellowing of a leaf or two, but the beans are almost ready to harvest. You can see the root mass here and it has really run out of room in that jar. The plant is taking up the water quite quickly and I'm topping up the jars every three days or so. A few days later, it was time to harvest. I took multiple beans off of each plant and they tasted wonderful. There are plenty of beans and flowers left, which we will continue to wait for. In week 11, we had our second harvest. At this point, I've probably taken 12 to 15 beans from each plant. Getting into week 12, we can see that these plants are beginning to deteriorate. Our leaves are yellowing and wilting at the tips. The air has been very dry, and it's likely causing the plants to transpire more than they want to. That said, we do have some new growth emerging. A few branches with young leaves and additional flowers appear to be growing. We join these plants for the last time in week 13, and they're not looking great. They put out a bunch of flowers over the last few days, which tells me they may have been able to get more production, but the plants aren't in the best shape. The leaves on these plants are dying at an alarming rate, and I've opted to chop down these plants. I've still got more of the seeds, and I'm intrigued to see how the next crop turns out, especially if I can get larger jars, and as we move into spring, the environment should get more humid and that may also help these plants thrive. Regardless, it was a fun grow and we got decent production from a small jar plant. 
Thanks a lot for watching, and as always, happy harvesting!